Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff and today we're checking out the Nike Dunk Low in the medium grey varsity red colorway aka the University of Nevada Las Vegas UNLV colorway. These dropped early here in Asia in January so we've got to check them out a little bit earlier. Here we go. Alright, before we begin, major thanks to my buddy Ryan from Yuka for lending me a personal pair to check out. Of course, this means that these aren't in my size, so I won't be doing an on-feed of these. We're just gonna check them out. Yuka is an awesome sneaker store that also does sneaker customization and repair via Dirt Army. Their store is located at the Gasket Alley here in KL in Malaysia. But you can also check them out at yukastore.com without the E. While they are based here in Malaysia, Yuka does worldwide delivery to a couple countries right now. So if you're searching for a particular pair of sneakers that you really want but you can't seem to find them anywhere, you can hit them up over on their Instagram account at Yuka Store without the E. Alright, the Nike Dunk Low UNLV is a pretty sweet colorway that first dropped as a Dunk High as part of the Be True to Your School pack way back in 1985. But the retro is here in a low taking advantage of all of that Dunk hype right now. That being said guys, please remember that these aren't SP Dunks. They're just regular Dunk Lows which aren't as comfortable but for some reason are still just as hyped. The Dunk Lows are priced at the same $100 in the US, just like the SP Dunk Lows. This colorway in particular is a huge deal for fans of the original Dunk High, with a soft grey upper with varsity red panels on top and the white rubber midsole below with the red outsole at the bottom. Alright, starting with the box, you can see it's the usual red Nike box because this is a Dunk Low so it's not the usual purple SP box. Coming to the shoe itself and starting with the toe box, it's made out of the soft grey colour leather material with the usual perforations. Surrounding the toe box, there's this varsity red leather panel that extends upwards along the shoe. The quality of the leather here is pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's the best quality, but it's not too bad. The soft grey panels are a little hard, but the varsity red panels seem to be a decent amount of soft. The red leather extends upwards towards the eyelets of the shoe. And it's a pretty regular lacing system here, with these flat red laces that have these tiny speckles of red that I think is like glitter on them. Unfortunately, no extra pair of laces here. Underneath the laces, you have the soft grey nylon tongue, which only has a tiny bit of padding, which is yet another major difference versus the SB models. At the top of the tongue is a grey nylon tongue tag, which has the Nike Swish branding in red. On the interior of the tongue, you just have the Nike trademark information and the made in Vietnam in this case. Coming to the inside of the shoe, the interior is in this varsity red color with extra padding at the back. At the bottom are the soft grey insoles that have the Nike branding in this bright orange shade. The insole seems to be glued down on this pair, but just so you know, they don't have an air unit in the heel like the SB Dunks do, so these aren't going to be as comfortable as those. Not that SB Dunks are that comfortable to begin with. Moving along, coming to the mid panel, there's the soft grey colour panel here, and then stitched on top of it is this varsity red Nike swoosh that extends towards the back of the shoe. Moving towards the back of the shoe, you'll see more of that varsity red leather that extends around the back of the shoe as well. And then coming to the heel area, you'll see this red leather patch at the top with Nike embroidered in, in a kind of sparkly silver grey font. That entire upper sits on top of this white midsole, which is pretty regular on dunks. And then coming to the bottom of the shoe is the usual Nike dunk outsole, which is entirely in this red colour rubber. Again, you'll notice that the thread pattern on a regular dunk low is a little different from the SB Dunks. Apart from that, you have the Nike Swish branding centered right in the middle of the outsole. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of design. In terms of sizing, these fit just like any other pair of Nike Dunk Lows. The tongue isn't as padded as on SB Dunks, so they're just a tiny bit more roomy. If you have narrow feet, you can go true to size here, no worries. But if you have wide feet like I do and you don't want too snug a fit, you might want to go up a half size here just so that you have more room in the toe box area. In terms of comfort, just like Jordan 1s and Air Force 1s, the Nike Dunks are not really the most comfortable shoe around. They're pretty okay, but there's a more firm, flat kind of feeling underfoot, and there's not really too much going on from a cushioning point of view. Alright guys, so that was a quick look at the Nike Dunk Low in the UNLV colorway. This is going to be a really popular colorway, and I feel like resale is going to really jump after a while. I do feel like the materials used were pretty okay. These are retailing at just $100 after all, though the resale price is definitely going to be way, way higher. But all in all, it's a pretty sweet colorway, and if you're a fan of the OG, this is a pretty sweet pair to check out. Because Nike knows that we pay top dollar for any Dunk Low right now. Alright guys, so that's what I think about the Nike Dunk Low in the UNLV colorway. I'd love to know what you guys think about this colorway and will you be picking up a pair? 
Let me know right in the comment section below. In case you want to see more photos of the UNLV Nike Dunk Low, you can check them out on my Instagram and maybe give me a follow at Clinton Jeff. And hey, if you thought this video was helpful and you want to support the channel, don't forget to hit the like button right below and maybe subscribe because that would be appreciated. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.